starting to focus on the Japanese fighting fish. You should know this. He despises it. He hates the fact that I call him the Japanese fighting fish. Hates it. You just can't tackle the Japanese fighting fish. Deadly and single-minded of purpose. Have you ever seen a Japanese fighting fish? Elegant, well-apportioned, well-maintained. I mean, that's Larry Fitzgerald. You <laughs> Pedicure, manicure, eyebrow cure, elbow cure. We call it Larry Cure. The guy is well-maintained and he is deadly and single-minded of purpose, metaphorically speaking. That was never more evident than 10 years ago on the final play of the first half of Super Bowl 43. 18 seconds left of the second quarter, first and goal, Arizona at the two-yard line. After the Steelers' James Harrison intercepted a pass... It's gonna be picked off, James Harrison it. Larry Fitzgerald's sole purpose was to catch him. He's running up the sideline! 30, 35, 40, still on his feet at the 45 and down. No, he's still on his feet. Here comes Harrison jumping over people to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, and that's a touchdown for Pittsburgh. Boy, I'll tell you what, that is a killer right there. Yeah, it ain't thought for you for to not go after him. No, no, no. I always chase. I always chase. I knew I could catch James Harrison. When Harrison was at the 32-yard line, Fitzgerald was at the 20. He put on the Jets. You normally don't see guys run out of bounds, but that was his only way of getting around players because everyone was looking at the play as it was unfolding. And all I remember is Larry Fitzgerald running down the sideline, and I'm thinking he's going to tackle him. Larry makes one of the all-time Super Bowl plays if Antrell Roll's not standing in the white. And I love Antrell, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, you're supposed to stand where you're supposed to stand. They always have the get back coach, right, on the sideline, get back, get back. If they had gotten back, Larry Fitzgerald might have saved that game. And if Antrell Rowe wouldn't get in my way, you know, I might have a ring. My eyes were glued on him the last 40 or so yards of the play. It was interesting that he wasn't shutting it down, and I knew that he was possibly the guy that was going to bring James down in the field to play. Man, I tell you, I hit that guy and I felt like I hit a refrigerator. I mean, he was so dense and so strong, man. Like, when I hit him, I, mean, I was like, oh, wow. To me, that showed how desperate he was to win a title, what that meant to him, how much he knew and how hard it was to get to that point. Because I think a lot of players would have looked up and seen James Harrison running the other way and thought, I got no shot. A hundred yard touchdown? When you're on the goal line, I was just really angry at that because they blew a great opportunity. And I know from covering big championship games in my career, it's hard to come back from that. But the Cardinals did, thanks in large part to Larry Fitzgerald. Touchdown, Larry Fitzgerald! Late in the fourth quarter, it was James Harrison's turn to chase Fitzgerald. Harrison lost the race, but he and his Steelers won the game. Larry Fitzgerald has caught more than 1,300 passes and scored 116 touchdowns. So it might seem ridiculous to call this the resume play of his career, but it is a microcosm of his 15 years in the NFL. He always gives his all. He's faced many obstacles along the way in his pursuit of a championship, and so far, he's come up short. And while the Japanese fighting fish may not have brought down James Harrison in time, he has gotten his revenge on the man who gave him a nickname he doesn't like. The Japanese fighting fish. Deadly and single-minded of purpose. <laughs>